Take your organs to heaven. Heaven knows we need them right here. Don't take your organs to heaven. Let me make it perfectly clear that if you leave me behind, then you will find you got a chance to continue giving. So I'll take your organs to heaven. Heaven knows we need them right here. Oh, yeah. Across Canada, or through Canada, we should say. George, we understand that what you are doing is you are raising awareness of the need for organ and tissue transplantation, the need for uh, organs to be available, and uh, you yourself are a, a, you are a recipient, and uh, that has been something that has saved your life, and I know that you are doing this out of the fullness of your heart, uh, in thankfulness, as I read in your material, this is in thankfulness to the family, uh, whose family member provided the organ that allowed you to continue to live, and you want people all across Canada to become aware of the need for these organs and tissue to be made available so that other Canadians like yourself can live a full life, a rich life. Uh, we really appreciate that you're giving of your time and your energy and your sustenance to do this. Um, this is not an easy thing to do. Uh, it requires a lot of organization, a lot of volunteers, and I know that you're fully supported in your efforts by the hospitals here. They're really grateful for what you're doing. And, London. Oh, thank you. <laughs> London is certainly a city that is known for the significance of our health care. So you, have, you, you will not come into a, a, another city that cares more about these issues. We care very deeply about the opportunity for every single individual that needs to have an organ donated or needs to have tissue for transplantation. So we wanted to be here to welcome you today officially on behalf of the City of London, on behalf of City Council, to wish you very well along your journey. And I have a little gift that I want to give to you as well, and I know you won't be able to carry it as you go, but I figured that you would have a lot of volunteers and somebody in a van who'd be able to take it. And so, George, what this is, is it's a plate of the City of London. We hope you can put up on your wall when you get home. Can I use my spaghetti? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Just don't scratch it too much. No, no, um, but this particular plate has our city crest on it. You'll find that our crest in Latin contains the motto for the City of London, which is work and perseverance. And you are proving by your vigilance and by your determination on this very important journey, um, the importance of that motto, working hard and persevering, just absolutely never giving up. And, and I guess our message is as well to those who are waiting for an organ, don't give up. People like George are out there persevering on your behalf and uh, we believe that their time will come just as yours did for the opportunity for a full life. So we wish you all the very best from the people of the City of London. May you have a very full and rich journey and may you have a wonderful life ahead. Good afternoon everybody and welcome. Um, we're so happy to see so many people, and I'm the patient care coordinator for the transplant um, unit at London Health Sciences Centre, and um, we know that George is the epitome of why we do transplant. He is back leading an effective and plentiful life, and um, this walk, if anything, has been a hope and a strength for all the people waiting for transplants in London and across Canada. And we all know there are many thousands of people waiting, and many of those people unfortunately die because of the lack of organs. So hopefully on your journey, we will improve that, and we hope that um, your time here in London will boost our numbers. Thank you very much. Today is the um, 38th day of George's walk here, and um, in the tribute song that you heard maybe coming up, a lot of us heard it along the way, all the way from Pomoka this morning, um, so I know it off by heart. <laughs> um, but in that tribute song, the message about the need for organ donors comes out loud and clear. No one should have to wait for a second chance at life. Many wait an average of two years for an organ to become available, and many die waiting. Organ donations 
Organ donation is a choice that all of us can make. So talk to your family about organ donation and make sure that they know what your wishes are. Our final gift can be life itself. So George, welcome on behalf of the Multi-Organ Transplant Program at London Health Sciences Centre. And we will continue to support your journey across Canada. And we'll look for you on the website. Thank you, George. On behalf of many charities and organizations in the City of London, I'd like to thank you, George, for taking on this monumental task of walking across Canada to increase the need for organ donation. In London, we have many charities and organizations that have all got have that same goal. So for that reason, we've now created in London the Organ Donor Awareness Network, which is comprised of the Liver Foundation, the Organ Donor Committee from University Campus, London Health Sciences Center, the Liver Foundation, and I can't forget anybody, and the CNIB. <laughs> there are two other organizations I'd like to thank today, and I think they were walking with George. They are representatives from the Canadian Transplant Association and the PBC Families of Southern Ontario. On that note, on behalf of everyone involved, I would like to introduce George Martello, a man whose wish is to do just that, increase organ donor awareness. George. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, today is day 38, and uh, I want to uh, uh, thank God that I made it to another uh, press conference, and uh, you know what? London rocks. I'll, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you, this, this has been the best reception thus far. On the phone, and I was cussing and cursing, and uh, about five minutes ago, the uh, Bell representative of London just approached me and handed me this. Bell Canada. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Hopefully so, it's just the start. Hopefully it's just the start. I don't know what that means, but... Uh, more to come. More to come, I guess. Yeah. How are you feeling after I, your sickness? I feel insane. I feel insane. I've turned crazier since... Uh, I'm turning, I'm turning nuttier, crazier, fruitier, uh, but life is good. We welcome you today officially on behalf of the City of London, on behalf of the City Council, to wish you very well along your journey. And I have a little gift that I want to give to you as well, and I know you won't be able to carry it as you go, but I figured that you would have a lot of volunteers and somebody in a van who'd be able to take it. And so, George, what this is, is it's a plate of the City of London. We hope you can put up on your wall when you get home. Can I eat my Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Just don't scratch it too much. No, no, um, but this particular plate has our city crest on it. You'll find that our crest in Latin contains the motto for the City of London, which is work and perseverance. And you are proving by your vigilance and by your determination on this very important journey 
uh, the importance of that model, working hard and persevering, just absolutely never giving up. And, and I guess our message is as well to those who are waiting for an organ, don't give up. People like George are out there persevering on your behalf, and uh, we believe that their time will come just as yours did for the opportunity for a full life. So we wish you all the very best from the people of the City of London. May you have a very full and rich journey, and may you have a wonderful life ahead. people are interested. We had a lot of people on the street here and um, we know that George has, has touched a lot of people on his road here. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Jane Hartman. I'm the patient care coordinator for the transplant um, unit at London Health Sciences Centre and um, we know that George is the epitome of why we do transplant. He is fast, leading an effective and plentiful life and um, this walk, if anything, has been a hope and a strength for all the people waiting for transplants in London and across Canada. And we all know there are many thousands of people waiting and many of those people unfortunately die because of the lack of organs. So hopefully on your journey, we will improve that and we hope that um, your time here in London will boost our numbers. Thank you very much. Song that you heard maybe coming up. A lot of us heard it along the way, all the way from Pomoka this morning. Uh, so I know it off by heart. <laughs> um, but in that tribute song, the message about the need for organ donors comes out loud and clear. No one should have to wait for a second chance at life. Many wait an average of two years for an organ to become available, and many die waiting. Organ donation is organ donation is a choice that all of us can make. So talk to your family about organ donation and make sure that they know what your wishes are. Our final gift can be life itself. So George, welcome on behalf of the Multi Organ Transplant Program at London Health Sciences Center. And we will continue to support your journey across Canada. And we'll look for you on the website. Thank you, George. City of London, I'd like to thank you, George, for taking on this monumental task of walking across Canada to increase the need for organ donation. In London, we have many charities and organizations that have all got, have that same goal. So for that reason, we've now created in London the Organ Donor Awareness Network, which is comprised of the Liver Foundation, the Organ Donor Committee from University Campus, London Health Sciences Centre, the Liver Foundation, and I can't forget anybody, and the CNIB. Thanks. <laughs> honestly led the tor torch, and uh, afterwards he massaged my feet. Not asking you to do that. <laughs> uh, we're just asking if we can just accept the uh, torch and uh, we'll have that come to you in a, in a few minutes. Uh, and by the way, uh, the, all the mayors have been just great so far. They've been showing up at. eventually, but it came out of a sad situation. Five years ago, Nathan Smith of Cambridge, Ontario died at the age of 21. After a long-awaited heart transplant, uh, he illness attacked his new heart, and he lost his battle with life. But Nathan has definitely not been forgotten, not here in London, and not in his home community of Cambridge, where every year, his family and friends rally together to organize a golf tournament to honor his memory. Uh, as a result of this golf tournament over the last four years and again on August 12th this year in, in Cambridge, uh, over $68,000 so far has been raised to, to honor Nathan. The purpose of their raising of these funds is to promote uh, a goal so similar to yours, George, and that is to promote organ donor awareness as well as research into, uh, into transplant in this whole fascinating field. The $68,000 is going to fund quite a variety of different product, uh, projects, everything from funding laptop computers so that presentations can be made here in southwestern Ontario and right across Canada, uh, support for the transplant calendar, quite a number of different initiatives as well as research projects. However, the Smith family, when uh, Kate and I contacted them about the work you're doing, 
they wanted to lend their support to what George and the step-by-step -step campaign are all about. So on behalf of the Smith family, who could not make it here, unfortunately, from Cambridge, but I know you'll be in their community shortly, I do come bearing a check on their behalf. And that is a check for $2,000 from the Nathan Smith Memorial Fund for George and North Carolina. involving youth. Um, the approximately 200 folks who come together each year to honor Nathan at the golf tournament is mainly folks in their early 20s and their parents and they all work together collaboratively to raise these funds. So George, I know the Smith family would want me to pass along our deepest uh, respect for what you're doing and our best wishes. Yeah, I thought it was a nice shot though. 